and you've upset yourself with all that crying. <laughs> Please go to sleep, Emma, please. I've got so much to do. There's a good girl. I need to go and see how lady is. <laughs> Yours coming on, eh, lady? Oh, no, girl. This one's always away, isn't it? Still, it's going to be a big, fine fool by the look of it. I'll come back and see you soon. She's having trouble breathing. What if it's the flu? Mrs. Carlson's children have it. And they were there in the store and I was there the other day. Well, and it could be. I must get her to a doctor, Jenny. The flu could kill her. Take Emma back home. I left Vicky on the road a few minutes ago. I'll get her to ride home and find father. And try not to worry, Meg. I'll be back in no time. To I want you to ride home and see if Grandpa's back yet. But he's hardly been there since the epidemic started. If he's not there, try the store. They may know where he is. Tell him it's serious, Vicky. It may be the flu. It's all right, Jenny. I'll find him. She stopped crying now, but she's still very hot. We have to get her temperature down. You sit here for a minute. I'll go and put the kettle on, and we'll give her a tepid bath. <laughs> Is Grandpa here, Manfred? No, Vicky. 
you. He did come back, but he left again. How long ago? Not long. Did he say where he was going? Um, the Connors farm. Two of them are very ill. Thanks, my friend. I've got to go. What's the matter? Tell you later! on its way, lady. But don't worry. Everything will be all right. Alf! Is Dr. Gordon still here? Do you know where he went? No. Does Mummy know where he went? I don't know. Vicky! Mrs. Connor! I'm looking for Grandpa. Our child came and got him, said his father was very sick. I didn't recognize him, though. Thanks, Mrs. Connor. Come on, Beauty. <coughs> Come and sit down. No, I'm um, right, thank you. Listen, I'll look after Emma. Come and sit down. When will your husband be back? By a day or so. He didn't want to leave, but he had to. Don't worry. Everything will be all right. Meg, how long is it since you've eaten? I'm not hungry. <coughs> it won't do little Emma any good at all if you make yourself it. I don't want any. Meg, you don't look very well. I I'm going to say to Emma. upsets his stomach. Hilda, Meg Stokes' baby is very ill. Do you know where Grandpa is? Oh, dear, now, let me remember. He came here from the Connors to get more bicarb, and he was going to go on to the Pinders, but there was a message for him to call in on old Mrs. Bruce. But the Pinders are miles away. So are the Bruces, in the opposite direction. About seven this morning. Oh, that's no good. I've got to find him quickly. He could be at the Bruce's or the Pinders or anywhere by now. It's the Stokes' baby. She's terribly ill. All right, to the Bruce's. You go on to Pinders. Don't worry, Vicky. We'll find him. Oh, thank you. Now get going. Yeah.
close, lady. The foal's on the way. The lady's a little bit restless, but that's only to be expected. Otherwise, everything's fine. <laughs> I'm so pleased you're here, Janie. Back home, we were such a big family, I got used to having lots of people around. You must miss them. Not at first. It was all so new and exciting. There was the journey out, and then this farm, then Emma. It's only been the last few weeks, really. And today, with John away, and Emma being so <coughs> She's very hot again. Shouldn't they be here by now? Yes. Yes, I think they should. You sponge Emma down again. I'll go and attend to Lady. I think it's time. I'm going to try a shortcut, Beauty. Round the headland.
tired, Vicky, and longing for my bed. <sighs> Little Emma Stokes is very ill. Uh, how bad is she? Jenny seems very worried. Uh, it'll take me quite some time to get there, I'm afraid. Beauty will take you. Uh, very well. Uh, get my bag. Good Lord, child, you're soaked. You'll end up with a flu yourself. Get into the trap, off with that skirt, wrap yourself up in the blanket. I'll see you at Meg's. <laughs> now, let's take this very easy, beauty. Whoa. Sir, I'm sorry about that, but you must excuse me. I'm in a desperate hurry. to be Mrs. Stokes. How's the baby? Oh, I don't know. Jenny's with her. Oh. You've done well, Jenny. I've been giving her water. Good. Her temperature's not too bad. I'll give her something to help her breathing. Is she going to be all right then? Yes. She's over the worst of it already. Oh, thank you. You both. Grandpa, how was this ride on beauty? Rather harrowing, I believe. Why, what happened? Something to do with a runaway cart. Oh, no. Oh, is Emma all right? Mm -hmm. She's sleeping and on the mend. And lady? Come and see. Jenny, is 
Isn't it just beautiful? Oh, what a little champion. They're both asleep. Meg was exhausted. And uh, she has my sympathy. Oh. Isn't wonderful beauty? Oh, thank goodness beauty was on our side today. He's the best horse ever. I'm not sure Father would completely agree with you after his ride today. <laughs> Isn't that right, Father? 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 <laughs>